Hello, this is Catherine from Accelerated Reader. Today, I will be reading Don Gatto, The Three-Legged Cat of Saborka, written by Diane Kane, illustrations by Linda McCluskey. Before I begin reading, I would like to give a big thanks to the author for sending me this book to read on my channel. In the description below, I have included links where you may find and purchase this book. Don't forget to like and subscribe. With thanks to my grandchildren, Casey and Finn Becker, for their help writing this story, Diane Kane. I dedicate this book to my great friend, Salvatore Turi Seralvolo without whom there would be no Don Gatto. Salvatore means savior and Turi was Don Gatto's true savior. Linda McCluskey. Don, Italian for sir. Gatto, French for pastry with cream, pronounced Gatto. Saborga, pronounced Saborga. I live on a hill overlooking the sea. I am the proud cat of Saborga, you see. Born with one tail, ears and eyes of two, and four strong legs that served me true. Never need for a name or a home. Throughout the village, I would roam. I had no fear of what might happen to me. I was the adventurous cat of Saborga, you see. At night, I explored alleys and streets, helping myself to scrap food and treats. I slept in the sun on a hill near the sea and wandered the fields, happy and free. With no need for people to care for me, I was the feral cat of Saborga, you see. One day I climbed a balcony to see a woman with a paintbrush. She said to me, Your fur is the color of pastry and cream. I crown you Don Gateau. It was like a dream. But no magic spell could she cast on me. I was the suspicious cat of Saborga, you see. Every day I climbed the balcony high on the lovely artist I would spy. She painted tall buildings and trees, twisting and turning in the breeze. I would come and go Happy and free, I was the savvy cat of Saborka, you see. One day I leapt from balcony to street. Never before had I missed a beat. A truck came quickly. I had nowhere to go. The driver hit his brakes. Too late, too slow. Oh, how could this have happened to me? I was the sure-footed cat of Saborga, you see. The gentle artist rushed to where I lay. I will help you, she said. I know a way. She scooped me up and held me tight. Dr. Alfonso will make things right. My legs didn't move. How could this be? I was the agile cat of Saborga, you see. Don Ghetto will be fine, the doctor was sure, but he will have three legs instead of four. The tender artist said, Do not fear, Don Ghetto. I will always be near. With never need for anyone, to care for me, 
I was the stubborn cat of Saborga, you see. But I could not bear to see the lady sad. I decided three legs wasn't so bad. Now I was unique from other cats near the sea. I was the three-legged cat of Saborka, you see. Each day I walked further to see her smile. Soon I ran with barely a limp in my style. I didn't need the lady's help anymore. But what was this feeling I'd not known before? Something in her eyes I could see. The thoughtful artist needed me. How could I leave after she had helped me? I was the fortunate cat of Saborka, you see. So it's through the fields and village I roam, always to return where I have a name and a home. I live with the lovely artist lady forevermore in Saborga near the sea where waves lap the shore. I am Don Ghetto. There is no other like me. I am the three-legged cat of Saborga, you see. The end. For all the uniquely perfect children of the world. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe. In the description below, I've included links where you may find and purchase this book.